Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for July. Thank you so much for joining and this is a general reading that could benefit any Pisces sun, moon, or rising sign and so we can take a look at the cards and see what energy or what insight can be gained for the month of July. So we have the moon, the major arcana, and the moon you see the uh, looks like the wolf and the dog are baying at the moon and the crawfish is kind of gently coming out of the water. So with the moon, you know, the moon is uh, uh, it's wonderful and it can be inspiring. However, the moon sometimes can uh, get us really lost. And so, um, you know, you might be, you may not be seeing things the way that they're probably meant to be seen. You know, it can have this illusion quality or perhaps a distortion and uh, it can cause uncertainty and anxiety when we have this sense of what the moon is bringing. And um, one of the things to think about with the moon is that we really have to pay attention to our subconscious. We have to uh, give credence to our dreams or to the messages that our psychic self that we're receiving. So sometimes with the moon, it may suggest that we have unrealistic ideas and um, uh, we're simply not seeing things for what they really are. And um, fear gets in the way. It gets in the way of progress, of making progress. So it's just something to be aware of, of perhaps not seeing a situation for what it really is and having uncertainty about it or having, you know, a sense of fear, which is preventing you from making this forward progress. So then we have the four of pentacles and pentacles, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So this four of pentacles man is just sitting here on his throne or his little seat. He's got his feet on his pentacles. He's got a pentacle covering his heart and a pentacle on his head. So a real sense of maintaining control here. And that may be a theme for you for the week, which is to exercise control, establish boundaries, and to hold on to what you have and to be mindful of what you have. You may be in a holding position. You may have to watch your finances. You may have to watch your energy, time spent with friends socializing perhaps, but you're really going to maintain the status quo, which kind of translates to not making any wild moves, not doing anything that would disturb this protection. Because he really is weighed down by money, you know, matters perhaps of, of resources, of finances, money perhaps, and holding forth with it. So, you know, there may be uncertainty when it comes to your finances, and this is resulting in you having to hold on to it and um, be very clear in your control of your resources. And now I'm going to choose two cards for guidance. So then we have the devil. The devil is a major arcana card and you know the devil is in charge of, of, of allowing us to make choices and to act in a way that doesn't serve ourselves. We, uh, we get on our own way. It limits our progress as people and, and life and so the devil can show itself in some of our less than stellar behaviors, you know, drinking too much, eating too much, uh, flirting, cheating, lying, stealing, whatever it may be, the devil kind of gets in the way to say, yep, I'm going to prey on you and I'm going to bring out the worst so that you can't be the best. 
the devil can can create a situation where you may feel hopeless, where you may feel fear, where you may feel trapped. This lover's couple, they're loosely chained. Now they could slip out of there, they could take a step and kind of um, make a getaway, but it is indicative of that it's really up to you to try to tamper down and to deal with the devil. And uh, you know, the devil can represent debt, it can represent all these things that kind of um, get in our way. And he can take away our faith. And so it's important to try to get yourself in a position where you can step away from these chains, where you can get yourself in a place where you feel that you can break free, that you can begin to minimize the impact of your own behaviors, of the devil making you do it. So we have this uncertainty, anxiety, the effects of the moon. We don't see things for what they really are. Could be secrets involved. We're holding on to dear life for our resources. We have the devil, which is playing a mind trip on us for, you know, either spending too much, doing too much, but getting in our own way. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is this hardworking crew working toward a common goal. So in terms of guidance, this is a positive card because really this is about people working together, being talented at what they do, listening, communicating, um, creating something beautiful, building something, taking pride in what you do. And uh, it's the back and forth of a group interaction as well. And so, you know, he's skilled. He may not be the wealthiest man yet, but through word of mouth, through his good work, through your good work, through the things that you do, you ultimately will build greater recognition, greater opportunities through you, particularly when you're able to work successfully with others. And now I'm going to choose two cards for possible outcomes. Okay, so interesting. Possible outcomes. We have another group card. We have the Three of Cups. Uh, water sign. So this is about getting together with friends, having a sense of community, listening to each other, sharing, being grateful for your blessings, counting your blessings, you know, raising a toast, having some fun, some levity for the week. So go out and have fun, do some things. The only caveat that I would mention is that with the devil, don't overdo it. Don't go to extremes. Don't overindulge. Uh, and, you know, make this a positive situation. This should be lightness and fun and an ability to talk and to catch up and to share. And then the King of Swords comes in, and I, I like seeing this card, this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because the King of Swords is like no nonsense, direct energy. He is looking fierce and right at you, ready to make decisions that are objective, that are based on facts, reason, not emotion, dealing with this very powerful blade. And so having this clarity and having this ability to clearly communicate benefits you this week. It benefits you in your action, interactions with others for work or working on a relationship. It brings clear thinking and strong communication. It also brings about an opportunity for you to, to use this sharp sword to cut out the nonsense, to release the people who are toxic. Maybe there are a couple friends that don't help you out, you know, that, that are part of the crew here, the double crew, and you all kind of uh, do the things together. So, 
you know, this clarity and the power of the King of Swords allows you to make some very important decisions, which is to clean up, to bring further clarity and to slice through the nonsense. So very interesting with the moon, the devil, and a couple of group activity cards. Let's get some more information. This is a meditation point or practice area for the week. And this is joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments, their highest possible levels. So there's a lot of joy within the Three of Cups. Very clearly, it's a card of happiness. And joy brings back and restores faith, which the devil likes to take away. So create the joy, create the joyful moments for yourself this week. Now let's choose a card for spiritual self or emotional self. Relationships. Relationships are just a mirror image are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. The relationships that we have, whether they're positive or negative, add to our, uh, our ability to evolve, to grow as, as people. So your relations are, relationships are important in all aspects from your work life, to your personal life, to, uh, you know, opportunities within the community to meet and make new friends. And building and maintaining successful relationships is important. So it's something to think about for this week, particularly since we see the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, two Three cards. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love. And we'll see what's happening for love. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So the King of Swords is a man of integrity, a man who speaks the truth. Wonderful to apply to our life for the week. Uh, with the moon, it's a sense of really of looking at things in an honest fashion, seeing it for what it really is. Sometimes we go along with the illusion or the fantasy because it feels safer. But honesty and revealing self is uh, it's a gentle power. This is what I have for you for the week and I wish you an awesome week. Hopefully you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment. And I will see you next week for another reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.